Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Mastermind's Premium Classic Chess Set. This is your standard game of chess with a premium board and custom handmade components. In the game, you are going to be getting this box here that holds this inside, a wonderful wooden box with a chess board on top, along with chess pieces on the inner spaces of this foam setting here. Each of these pieces is a handmade portion for the game of chess, and most of you probably already know how chess is played. I'll explain the basic idea of how the game is set up and what you'll be doing in the game, but I think for the most part you guys already know that and just want to know about what this is and the quality of it and how it looks presented on your coffee table or game table for when you decide to play those classic games of chess. Okay, let's talk about the setup. For those of you who forgot how to set up a chessboard, let's go into that first. And what you'll be doing is you'll be placing pawns on your second row here. This is where you'll place all the small pieces that all look exactly the same. Then you're going to have your rooks on the left and right hand side. Also note, whenever you set up a chessboard, that your right square is always going to be white. So white on right is something you should remember. Then you're going to have your knights, which are your horses. You're going to have your bishops and finally your king and queen. Another thing to note to always make sure you remember how to set up your chessboard is that your queen needs to go on her color. So white queen on white square and black queen on black square. Once you've done that for one color, make sure you do that for the other color as well. And then you should have set up your board fully and perfectly according to how it should be set up in normal chess. And your board should look something like this. After that, you're ready to begin, and you're always going to let white start. And to determine who gets to be the first player, you'll take these pieces here, let your opponent choose one from your hand, and then whatever they choose will determine their starting position in the game. Bit black, meaning they're going to go second. Okay, that's how you set it up, and the basic idea of play will come now. The basic idea of how to play chess is quite simple. You're going to have your pawns, which will move either one space forward or two spaces forward, and they always will attack to their right. You can either choose to move in chess, or you can choose to attack. Uh, and for mo the most part, moving is attacking. But with pawns, moving, uh, uh, to moving to attack is always going to be diagonal. You have your rooks here, which are always going to go in a plus sign. They can go as far up and down as long as they don't hit any other of your pieces. And if they hit an opponent's piece, that opponent piece is killed. Your horses will move in an L formation, up two to the right one. Always like that and in any combination you'd like. You can go right two and up one, up two and right one, up two and left one, doesn't matter. It can go over pieces, it's a very unique piece. Bishops are going to make an X which means they can always go in the X formation. They can go diagonal all the way to the left, diagonal all the way to the right, and the same will be said back on each side as well. And if they hit one of your pieces, they have to stop. If they hit an opponent's piece, they can choose to defeat it and remove it from the board. The queen, the most powerful piece in the game, can go anywhere she likes as long as she doesn't bounce into one of your pieces. And if she ever hits an opponent's piece, uh, then that piece is going to be de defeated. And then finally you're going to have their king, the most uh, interesting piece in the game. It may move one space and it can move in any direction it likes, but that's pretty much all it can do. There are a few exceptions to the rule, but for the most part it can move one space. If a piece is ever attempting to defeat the king, the king can be checked. If the king is in a position that, is, that he is checked and also is unable to move into a position to remove himself from being in check, then you're going to lose the game. And to play the game, you'll simply take turns moving your pieces, uh, moving a piece, and your opponent will move a piece, and you'll go back and forth until that king has been checked and finally checkmated to the point where they can no longer do anything. There are some really, really unique, interesting rules in chess, like en passant and castling your king and so on and so forth. But for those of you who are just interested in knowing about a high quality chess set, this video is mainly for you. But I wanted to give a little clarification for those people who have never played chess before, or wanted to get an idea of how it's played. So let's talk about Mastermind's premium quality chess set, what you get, what it looks like, what are the components, and whether or not you should pick up this set. The Mastermind Premium Quality Chess Set is going to come with this box which holds your chess set. Uh, this box here is an average board game quality box with the unique ad additive of having a lid that opens and is magnetized. And it's also going to come with a play-in style paper that goes over this for protection. And of course it can close and it will lock in place as well. Uh, the board itself is going to be made of resin concrete, uh, which are going to be your handcrafted pieces here, with an outer lining of pure copper. 
Now it's also going to have PU leather across the board, which is going to illustrate the black and the white spaces. And you're also going to have a walnut wood that goes all the way along, which makes the box. This is cut into two pieces. And when you take it off, you'll see the walnut wood is attached to the point where it can uh, basically present a nice board and it keeps the board in place. You're also going to have a foam lining, which is glued in and holds all your pieces. And you'll be able to set them in, and it's very easy to see where they go. You'll have your knights, your uh, rooks, your bishops, your king and queen, and your pawns. And for each player, it will be set like this, along with a nice thumb piece for you to open up the box. Uh, playing the game on this board is going to be actually quite nice. Uh, moving the pieces feels good. The pieces feel good to hold. Sliding them across the board feels great. The uh, leather here is really, really well done. Uh, and you can feel the difference in the different portions of the game board when moving the pieces along. Overall, I really, really like the handcrafted pieces. I like the, you can easily see the differentiation between the chess pieces, the chess board itself. I don't really typically like chess boards that have pieces that are unrecognizable to what you're supposed to know that they are. Like if a rook looks more like a Oh, I don't know, Jafar from Aladdin. It's not really my type of a thing. I want to know what the pieces look like and see on the board exactly what it's looking like so I can just plan ahead and I don't have to worry about any additional information I might need for the chess board. Um, and it does that great. Uh, the copper is a nice fit. It provides a nice weight as the pieces are being placed. It feels good to place the pieces down and you're not having to lift something heavy on the top end. It's going to be heavy on the bottom end so the pieces will stay in place and will not move as you're playing the game and they're not likely to slide either. And this also protective layer of pure copper is great too. When it hits that side of the board, it's going to protect. It's going to keep every piece inside the board. It's very unlikely for pieces to slide anywhere and it's pre pre presented with a nice walnut finish of this wood all the way across the board here. Um, uh, the, the one thing I'm not super, super keen on with this is the board is a little bit small for my liking. I'd actually prefer the board to be just slightly bigger um, and present the pieces. Everything just to be a little bit slightly bigger than this set is, but it doesn't deter me. It doesn't make it more difficult to play or anything like that. It just makes it things a little smaller than I would typically normally like to have for a chess set. But for those of you with smaller hands uh, and want to practice on a chess set, make the on a smaller table specifically, this is going to work great. It holds up less table space which can be a positive as well and everything fits inside which is nice it keeps everything conformed and this would fit on a coffee table a small one and it would present a nice beautiful decoration on the table the other thing to take into account for with this set is it is a premium set and thusly the cost will range to about $300 when all is said and done with shipping. $300 is quite pricey. I'm not sure exactly what the price point would be as to why it would be about $300. I know that these are handmade pieces. I know that there's roughly about 20 workers that spend about 20 hours crafting this with over 22 different steps to the process. Um, so maybe that's probably what the cost involves because these are all handmade. The pieces and the components and everything are not super super expensive you're not going to find like ivory and gold in this it's going to have copper and it's going to have uh, your walnut wood and of course your concrete resin which is nicer than regular resin um so if you don't mind this expenditure and you want a premium quality chest set this is going to be a very nice one for you as long as you don't mind the smaller board and as long as you like the specific type of concrete resin that these pieces hold for me personally i love the set pieces these are my favorite aspect of the board and i really liked the outer layer of copper providing a nice barrier between the pieces uh, on my board and off of the board so that i can play this game pretty much anywhere. Overall, the chess set is wonderfully done. It's beautiful. There's no mold lines on my pieces and it was just really well crafted. So if you're looking for that, there's a link down below in the description for you to pick up the Mastermind premium quality chess set on their website. Additionally, they have other unique games that you can pick up as well if you like other classical games like Monopoly, Checkers, Chinese Checkers, Backgammon, and so on and so forth. So if you're in the mood for a premium quality product with one of the classic games, here's where you can go ahead and take a look. It's up to you, there's a link down below. Thank you guys for taking a look at Unfiltered Gamers board game review for the Mastermind Premium Quality Chess Set. 
If you're in the market for a chess set or something of a classic game and you want a premium quality handcrafted model, then this might be your place to go ahead and take a look. Make sure to website unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more presents a nice, wonderful foundation for a ton of different board games, whether they be classic or modern. And if you would like, you can also see our written review for the Mastermind quality chess set as well. Well, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. And as always, I look forward to being classical and fun with you next time.